हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू स्टोरी सॉन्ग्स बेस्ड ऑन डिविजन सो फर्स्ट वी विल रीड द स्टेटमेंट एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट सोनू काउंटेड एटीन बीज एंड सिक्स हाइव्स देयर वर एन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ बीज इन ईच हाइव How many bees were there in each hive? So, first in story sums, first we will see which values are given to us. Okay, first step is to see which values are given to us. If you see, you can see two values, two numbers. It means these things are given to us. First, we will write that. so first 18 is given what is 18 18 bees it means number of bees 18 okay first value we have written now second value and six hives it means number of hives six after writing the given values our next focus should be on what we have to find okay now what what we have to find how many bees were there in each hive okay with question mark it means this we have to find what we have to find number of bees in each hive so this will be our third line number of bees or simply you can write bees in each hive so total number of bees 18 and number of hives hives 6 so you have to find how many bees in each hive so the sum is of division when you know for many and you have to find for one it means that sum is of division okay so now you know dividend you know divisor you have to find quotient so how we will do that by using multiplication tables students we will not do these sums by long division that is in next chapter here we will solve it by using multiplication tables as we did in previous session so for that we in rough work we will write six table okay so we will recall six table six ones are six six twos are twelve six threes are eighteen now eighteen is our dividend okay six is our divisor so which is our quotient three so it means in each hive three bees will be there so three bees is your answer so four lines are there in first two lines you will write which things are given in third line you will write what you have to find and you will solve it by using division operation then in fourth line you will write the answer similarly let's do second sum rajesh has 24 kites he wants to give them equally to six children how many kites will each child get total number of kites six so what is given kites are given number of kites 24 then children are given number of children six what you have to find number of kites each child get so number of kites each child get so total number of kites divided by number of children okay again we will recall six table we have already written here but now dividend is 24 so we will write six table till we get 24 so six fours are 24 okay so this is divisor this is dividend now it means 4 is the 
क्वेश्चन सिक्स फोर सा ट्वेंटी फोर सो इट मीन्स ईच चाइल्ड विल गेट हाउ मेनी काइट्स फोर काइट्स दिस इज योर आंसर सो लाइक दीज टू सम्स यू विल डू नेक्स्ट थ्री सम्स ओके इन दीज थ्री सम्स स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट गिवन फॉर यू लाइक इन दीज टू सम्स इट वॉज गिवन now in next three sums you will write statement yourself okay it's very easy like see in third sum what is uh, the statement for a party 72 chairs are arranged equally in nine rows how many chairs are there in each row so which two values are given 72 chairs it means in first line you will write number of chairs 72 then number of rows 9 what you have to find number of chairs in each row number of chairs in each row so that is 72 divided by 9 so then you will recall nines table and you will find your quotient you will find your answer so in fourth line you will write the answer okay so similarly you will do fourth and fifth sum so students for these sums tables are very important so it is my gentle reminder for you all so daily write three tables which i have given you 11 12 and 13 twice in your notebook by writing the date okay thank you